Hey, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we'll be talking about battery life and how to extend your battery life on an older Apple Watch. This is my Apple Watch Series 5 from 2019. It was released around September of 2019, and I bought it right after release as well. So it's a bit over four years old at this point in time. And as you can see, the battery health message has appeared, battery service, and uh, the battery capacity is only 75%. So after years of use, this thing's battery has significantly reduced in terms of potential. And in this video, I'll be showing you exactly how you can increase your battery life to get you throughout the day by turning off a few features and editing a couple of options so as to extend your battery life so you can use it throughout the rest of the day. So this is how to increase your battery life on an older Apple Watch here in 2024. So as always, before jumping right in, don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, if you have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them down in the comment section below. We can start a discussion or I can answer your questions. My social media is also linked down in the description below, which includes Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. And now let's jump right into this video. So just a disclaimer, first of all, um, some of the features that I'll be mentioning in this video don't apply to all older Apple Watches. For example, the Series 4 and below do not have the always on display. That was a feature that came with the Series 5. So any uh, device Series 4 and below, like the Series 4, Series 3, 2, 1, and Series 0 will not have an always on display. However, uh, just uh, know what features your watch has and then apply them accordingly. Also, this may not only apply to Apple watches you could also apply these to other brands such as Samsung smartwatches Fitbits whatever uh, some of these features do exist in app uh, in other brands of smartwatches so uh, if you have one of those you may find something interesting in this video for you as well so to start things off let's of course go over the obvious which is the battery saver mode that is just number one that's easy uh, you just go ahead and turn on the low power mode or battery saver mode that is guaranteed to increase battery life 100 percent guaranteed that's just the main battery saving option that you should turn on firstly i actually had battery saver mode on on even my newer Apple Watches, and when this thing was new as well, I had that turned on. I felt like it just gave me so much more battery and it was worth it not getting all the unnecessary push notifications, but I also got the important stuff through. So battery saver mode, you don't really have to wait till your battery is on its way out. It'll help you if you have a very active lifestyle and uh, you just need extra battery, even with a good uh, battery when your watch is newer. I do that with my Series 8 as well. And that thing has 99% or 100% battery or something like that. So yeah, battery saver mode is the first and main way to save battery. Just turn it on. You may not get some notifications and stuff, but research that accordingly and um, turn on battery saver mode. Number two is, as you can see, and you may have seen in my other videos as well, I do not have too many other wallpapers that are colorful. Now I have a few of them, oh, wall, sorry, not wallpapers, faces, uh, colorful faces. So these are my main three and you may notice that they're all gray. They're gray or black uh, in certain areas. I don't use the colorful ones anymore. And that's because the darker, more dull wallpaper, or faces, I keep calling them wallpapers, the darker faces actually help uh, increase battery life. And when I say wallpapers, uh, that stems from the fact that that works on phones as well. A duller wallpaper will actually help you increase battery life on a phone as well. And in this case, um, a dull face like this with no color whatsoever will actually help you increase battery life as well. The colors need more energy to be pushed. So a dull grayscale like this will also help you increase battery life. And I've noticed it, I've tested this before and I've noticed it makes quite a significant difference. So go ahead and select your favorite 
um, phase and then turn it grayscale. Sure, colors are nice, but uh, battery life and lasting throughout the day in terms of battery is much nicer. We're now here at the third point and it's kind of an obvious one. And of course, I'm talking about the always on display. Now, like I said, it only applies to the series five and above. Anything series four and below does not have the always on feature. So series five and above only. And um, this also applies to newer Apple watches as well. Cause even though Apple in, in their promotional videos and stuff say that the always on display does not take that much of that much of your battery it still does it still takes some power and especially when you have an older watch like this that really makes a lot of sense and even a newer watch if you're trying to make your battery last at least two days if you're on a long trip or something uh going hiking across something something or whatever you need the battery to last um, at least two days you actually can turn the always on off and it will last I do that on my series 8 as well and it lasts at least two days and with at least a one hour uh, exercise or um, running session every day and it does last at least two days so Turn off the always on if you have an older Apple Watch, that's kind of obvious. Uh, it does consume battery, even though Apple says it does not. It's lesser. It's to a lesser extent in newer Apple Watches because the always on technology has gotten better, but on older ones like this, definitely turn it off. It helps quite a lot. The fourth way you can actually increase your battery life is something that has worked for years on mobile phones and uh, older smartwatches as well. And that is if you turn off the background app refresh. Now you go to settings, you go to general, and you go all the way down, background app refresh. And by the way, you can do this from your phone's uh, app as well, background app refresh, and you can also um, turn it off. So I have turned it on now, but I, I keep it turned on. It doesn't affect it that much, but uh, if you notice your battery is significantly getting bad, definitely go ahead and turn off background app refresh. So if you want a, a new, um, if you want a new refresh on a app, you'll have to go into the app itself to refresh it manually. And you can scroll down and turn off individually as well. If you don't want certain apps doing that in the background, you can go down and turn off them individually or you can turn off the whole thing as well. So that's the fourth option you have. Now, the fifth option for increasing your battery life only really applies if you use the display on your Apple Watch quite often. I don't use mine that much, I just use my phone. However, if you do scroll a lot on your Apple Watch, um, it's gonna take away from that user experience that Apple advertised uh, with your Apple Watch, the uh, fluidness of the display, the response time and all of that stuff, the animations, and what I'm talking about is turning off reduce motion or activate reduce motion more accurately, reducing the motion of the display in terms of animations and stuff like that. So the way you do that, you go to settings, um, go to accessibility and then reduce motion. Where is that? That's reduce transparency. Reduce motion is a bit down here. There you go. I've turned it on. So you want to keep reduce motion on. So when you turn on reduce motion, it reduces the motion in your watch. As you can see, instead of having an animation, it just immediately jumps to the menu when I hit that. So yeah, it gets rid of animations. It gets rid of a few other um, things that kind of go with the user experience or using an Apple Watch. It just does not have any fluid motion to anything that you do um, in terms of touch and all that. Your feedback has been reduced. It's just gonna be a display changing screens. Uh, so if you do use your watch a lot, uh, on its display itself, um, checking messages and stuff. It may take away from the user experience, but hey, you're trying to save battery life at the end of the day, and that helps a lot. Now, the sixth way you can actually increase your battery life is by turning off the Hey Digital Assistant. Now, I'm not gonna say it out loud because all my devices in my room are gonna go off if I say the word Hey, you know, the Digital Assistant on Apple Watches and iPhones, that guy over there. Um, of course, you can do this from the watch itself, but I'll do it on the phone here. So you go to the watch app, you go into that digital assistant and you turn off the listen for hey 
that digital assistant and also turn off race to speak race to speak you saw it was going off uh, while i was doing the uh, the first few options in this video i had to keep i had to keep on canceling it with a digital crown so that is also quite annoying and i always have that turned off but you can turn off the upper option the hey digital assistant as when you turn it off the microphone on your watch is no longer always on because it's always waiting for you to give it that command so it can answer and help you out with whatever you need but when you have that turned off the microphone is not going to be always on and on standby mode so when the microphone's off it's not consuming battery. So as long as that thing's not on standby mode, uh, you're saving battery. So turn off those two options. And that is the sixth way in saving battery life on an Apple Watch. Now, another way in which you can reduce uh, battery consumption is by disabling or reducing notifications. Now, that's kind, kind of defeat, defeating the purpose of an Apple Watch. It's mainly used for your notifications and quick replies and stuff. But if you don't really need it for notifications, you can go into the watch app on the phone and you can mainly do this from the phone. The options in the watch itself aren't that good. You go to notifications there and you can screw with the notifications here, turn off the ones you don't want and all that stuff but again remember you're not going to get notifications that you need so if you're okay with that you can go ahead and turn off certain notifications because those push notifications actually take some amount of battery but that's not as significant as the other ones that i've mentioned so that was point number seven now the eighth way you can of course uh, reduce battery life i'm just going to include it but everybody knows this at this point is of course reducing your screen brightness you just go to display on your apple watch display and brightness and reduce your brightness that is kind of an obvious thing i almost didn't want to mention it but brightness helps but like I mentioned in my um, previous points, turning everything grayscale on your main watch face actually helps quite a lot as well. But brightness, I almost didn't want to mention it, turn your brightness down, that's kind of obvious. The ninth option you have to reducing battery consumption is closing apps in the background. So if you do open an app, let's say the fitness app and um, the temperature and all of that stuff, make sure after you're done with it, shut it down because if it's running in the background, it's actually taking some, um, a, a very little bit of power. It's, it's minor, but it's still running in the background. So, um, when you run, when you open the app like that, um, just make sure you go into your, um, app here or your multitasking here and you turn it off like that. So yeah, that's the ninth option you have. And we've now come to the 10th and final option you have uh, in reducing battery consumption on your older Apple Watch. And it kind of defeats the purpose of an Apple Watch, but I'll still mention it anyway. And that is inputting your workouts on your phone app instead of using the workout app itself to track your workout. Now, of course, that's completely against the purpose of an Apple Watch. The, the reason the Apple Watch has all these sensors and all that stuff is to accurately gauge your workout. So you gauging your workout and just inputting it into the fitness app on your phone is not accurate at all. You may have other ways of making it more accurate, such as maybe a Fitbit, um, a cheaper or a cheaper um, fitness tracker that may give you somewhat accurate information that you can use to input in your health app on your phone um, using a cheaper fitness tracker or something else or maybe the exercise machine you're using like treadmills have their own calories and steps and all those counters that you can input into the health app on your phone but then you know it kind of defeats the purpose of an apple watch but you can go ahead and use that route as well using the uh the data for the data from your treadmill your uh your bike your whatever other options you have for fitness tracking to input data onto your iphone directly instead of using it on your apple watch again like i said it defeats the purpose but that is one option if you have a really really bad battery so yeah, um, that was 10 ways in which you can help increase the battery life on your older Apple Watch. So finally, thanks for watching and let me know down what you think about this video or if you have any other options you'd like to mention down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. 
If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. We can start a discussion or I can answer your questions. My social media is linked down in the description below, which includes Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.